How's it going guys? Today we are playing Chippendales Rescue Rangers for the NES. This is a game that I grew up with. I played it a lot. I haven't played it in many years though. Did you play it when you were younger? Yeah, I played it when I was younger. I watched the cartoon. Man, the, the Disney Afternoon was amazing. Disney Afternoon was awesome. Yeah. Do you know the st show that started the Disney Afternoon? Was it DuckTales? It was Gummy Bears. Oh, Gummy Bears. Bouncing yeah. here and there and yeah, everywhere. I know But one. this is uh, Chip and Dale and we're gonna do two players. Uh, Dale has the red nose. You you will be Dale. I, I will, will be Chip. I'm a little unhappy that I don't get to pick whether I want to be Chip or Dale. Do you want to be? I'm I'm, I'm good. Okay. I'm, uh, we can I'll, switch I'll it win. if you don't want. I want to know now because I don't want to hear complaining the whole time. Like like you didn't win because you weren't the right character. So if you want to be him, I'm not, you can take the control. I'm not, I'm not you're that, not doing that. When, when you when you hold heavy objects, your guy gets tired and he can't the, jump the, as the, high. The little sweat bead that yeah. comes down. He's like, oh, like shit. That. It's cool. You always want to make sure you have a block. So they were uh, they were crime fighters, for anybody that is not old enough to remember the cartoon. It was Chip and Dale from the old you know, Disney cartoons from the 1940s and 50s. Usually in the old cartoons, they would be pesky little rodents that would do something to annoy Donald Duck. But uh, in this show, they made them as I said, Crime Fighters, and this is a video game based off of that show. Chip and Dale are the main characters, but there was other rescue rangers such as Zipper, as you see here, and there's Gadget, who is the the girl, and she was kind of like the Donatello of the show. Oh, that's and, cool. And then there was um, uh, Montgomery Jack, or Monterey Jack, I, never, I can never fucking remember. Montgomery what, Scott? Montgomery Scott, yeah, he's basically yeah. The, the, the fat guy, I don't know. What is this? No, he was, oh, yeah. he was the pilot, I guess. And uh, that was that was the team, and they would have to go up against uh, they would have to go up against Fat Cat. That's one no annoying thing. If you don't stick with the other person, you can end up. You, uh, yeah, those blocks you can't jump through them. This might be a good part. Let's let's show let's show the audience this with with this. Why don't you grab me so that they can see that you can grab the other person? Oh and yeah, you can I take can do me this. through the area. Yeah, I can just be like, all right, we're going this way. Yeah, sometimes in the game it's easier to just pick up the other person because some parts are easier uh, doing it alone as opposed to yeah. at the same time. Where did that go? He just you can you can drop down. Yeah, which is good. Like in Contra, um, you can pick pick up um, blocks and things. I forget what these little flowers do. Shit. Ba dum ba dum bum. Oh, we're like get yeah the it's just, yeah it's just like contra where if you get ahead and things like that you can end up screwing the other person over. So if you saw there when I died, um, it had the balloon on screen to bring you back. I think that might be where they got the Bro idea for new Super Mario. Brothers? New Super Mario. Yeah, right. <laughs> the guy came from this. Was that was the bad guy really named Fat Cat? See, I don't that's, remember any of this. That's him. He's the, yeah. He's the Shredder of the show. He's the Doctor Claw of the show. He's the Doctor Claw of the show. Yeah. He's the Megatron. The of Megatron Rescue, Rescue Ranger. The show. Yes. It's funny. I remember this music, but not this level. This level looks like a gigantic diarrhea turd to me. Does it? <laughs> wow. Pretty much. Poetry. Like Thanks. Day. This game is not the hardest NES game. It's, you know, obviously meant for kids. Um, it's fun, though. Well, it's good that it's not the hardest, because if you ever played, like, Darkwing Duck or, like, Darkwing Duck the shit is a that tough came game. later. Yeah, Darkwing Duck, Duck is a hard game. Yeah. Also made by Capcom. And you would think that, you know, that's a kid's game, but I guess they... I don't know what. It was hard, Oops. though. There's Gadget. Hi guys, don't worry. I'm okay so far. I rigged up this wireless phone. See, she's doing always doing something technical. That's a wireless phone? <laughs> It's a wireless, according to this game. Yeah. Thanks, Capcom. That's great. I have to say that of all the um, mascots in Disney World mm -hmm. that you can see, yeah. Chip and Dale are the most annoying. They're, they're always there. At they're least. everywhere. You know, I always, when I go to Disney World, I always want to see Scrooge McDuck. And like, the only place you can fucking see him is in the parade. And it's really annoying. Go at Christmas time. Oh, is that when they break him out? Because it's like, you know, Dickens and all uh, that okay. shit. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Come on up. All right. We gotta right. probably we, communicate yeah. a little bit what we're yeah, doing. We gotta, okay. That's weird. Look, you're. Uh, it's under you there. Can I search for? Yes. Shit. I'll get out of the way. Like even just life. Like you're down. I'm down the one right now. Right. <laughs> and I fell. Great. See now that's one player. I'm gonna have an easier time. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot easier time. What makes this game hard is playing with with another person because it's. 
it just makes it harder. It's kind of like a lot of games. When he ducks inside the thing, oh wow. Yeah, you don't yeah, get hit. That's what I thought. It hit, well, it, as it's you like, saw, it's like it a hit, shield. It's, it's a shield, yeah. you get one extra hit. You know, Capcom made a ton of these Disney games back on the they NES. Did. Well, they had the license Everything to do from it. Little Mermaid to DuckTales to Tailspin. Tailspin. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. I think there's others too that we're probably leaving out. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they had the license to do it, and honestly, they did a pretty good job with most of them. I think Darkwing Duck was probably a little too hard for its... Because that's a game that kids were going to play, and... Right. I mean, I mean, that game's... I'm not saying that that's a bad game, I just think it was too hard for kids. Absolutely. That guy's frightening. Yeah, what? I'm going to hit him, and then I'm going to go. See? Yeah, Otherwise, there's... he dips down. Oh, wow. It's a little trick. Tricks of the trade. You're doing, like, one of those, like, VHS, like... Here's the tips and tricks. Oh, what was that guy? That guy who did those videos? Um, anyway, I know what you're talking about yeah. those tips and tricks videos. It's always like those shitty tricks that aren't that good that you can figure yeah. out in two seconds on your own. No, the best is My Life in Gaming does like parodies of those now. Yeah. Yeah, which are really good. But... When you're in level three, make sure to place the giant switches in the off position. Right. Oh, really? I wouldn't have thought. Yeah. Thanks, dude. To succeed. Having a nutty time with the guy that flips to the right and the left? Uh, hit him with a block and you'll succeed. Hit him with a block, you stupid cock. I don't... <laughs> hit him with a block, you stupid cock. Yeah. Yeah, I played this a lot. I played DuckTales a lot. The Mega Man games. I but those were, those were the games, man. Other than, like, you know, like Contra, stuff like that. You right. played this. Yeah. I mean, well, the Mario games and... You know, nowadays, kids with the emulators and stuff are kind of in a privileged position. Because they can play anything. There was really only, like, 25 games that people really played a ton. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like when you had friends growing up, how... Uh, I didn't have, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you had friends growing right, up. Yeah. Um, no, the games we would play... Honestly, I played a lot of Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Um, Everybody was into that. Yeah. Um, I didn't play a lot of the later ones, but I mean Street Fighter 2 with right. Super Nintendo. Like, I played a lot of. And, um... Yeah, that game came out and it was like God's gift. To, everybody played it in the arcades oh and they're like, Oh my God, Street Fighter! I remember my mom ordered it out of like one of the catalogs on the back of like Game Pro. Yeah. Because like the store was sold out. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh. Huh? Slipped. All the balls got through. <laughs> all, the, all the fucking brass balls. Uh, uh, sorry. You know, it just goes hand in hand. And we used to say that shit when we were kids playing these games too. It was always like this fucking really immature jokes that you make with your friends. It's just part of, for some reason, uh, it's just part of, and that's why the nerd does that too. Yeah. It's always like fucking shit and all, and all this stupid kind of jokes. Because that's what it was like. That's what it was like. I had the most like vulgar friends of all time, like with these games. <laughs> right? Like, like there was no like, like it's just a rooster going by and yeah. look at the cock. Yeah, it's, oh! like, oh! it's yeah. so it's so immature and we're aware, but it's like yeah. that's just what you do. Yeah. If I can remember this correctly, I believe you can do. Oh, you can climb shit like, that yeah. makes no sense. Yeah. Like. Well, that didn't quite work, but like this, like that, this, it's floating. It's it's gravity. It's a floater. It's awesome. There, you can do Look that shit. And now what am I gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a build like bridges out into the fucking sky and shit. Well, maybe not. I mean, if you put them on, yeah. I'm just gonna jump for it. Oh, this cat. Look at the spike things. Yeah, mix. Meow, 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 I meow. want chicken, I want liver, meow mix, meow mix, you deliver. How come every time we play one of these games, it's like a cat Why or a dog? Why don't you get on the other side of them? You want me to do this? Because that doesn't... No. Oh. I mean, like... Like, it's like a precarious position where you are. See, now I'm fucked. See, I need to be here. I Man, the, the developer who developed this boss fight was a dick. Pretty much. Look at, look at where those spikes are. They're like in... Seemingly random positions, but it really does matter. It does. This is the only way you can really do this because you can't jump up. Yeah. Fuck. But this is this is another boss fight that was not made with you know, like eight-year-old boys in mind because it's all about patience and yeah positioning. And at that age, you do you're not just have... like no. Yeah. All right. So there's three more levels left. This is where the games actually becomes a game. 
because so far it's been like stupid. Yeah. Pretty much, and I know that <laughs> it's like I, I don't want to just like die on purpose. Yeah. Because I mean I could if you want to play. No, it's fine. You're like I don't you're care. like I don't care. I don't, I don't play. care. <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking at these crazy crabs and like that's all I need to know. That's all you need to know. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. I wouldn't have thought of that. There we go. And this is why you're here. Oh, and we get an extra star. Oh. Nice. This is it crazy? He's throwing up. Those bubbles remind me of the bubbles that come out of Wart's mouth in Mar at the end of Mario 2. And and the color of that reminds me, since we're doing the color thing, of like the whale enemies in Bubble Man stage. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like very similar. Watch, I'm gonna watch this, watch. Yeah. Oh, oh take it! Fucked him up. Take it, ninja fucking flying squirrel. Yeah. What the fuck? Where do babies come from, mommy? <laughs> Stage J. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss. I re okay, I really can't miss now. Use the force. Oh my God. There we go, there on the go. last one. Way to go. Thanks. Thanks, Dale. I have to say, you know, the backgrounds are kind of plain, but it's no rockin' cats. Yeah, there'd that, be that, like clubs and spades right? and it'd be yellow. <laughs> it'd, be just, it'd be like that ugly ass yellow too. Yeah, not right? just ye any yellow. Yeah, they didn't have the fine uh, <laughs> top man orange going on. <laughs> <laughs> top it's man rock. orange. Oh my god, Crayola <laughs> needs to get on that right I, now. I they, to... No, a fucking Mega Man. They okay, team up with. Not that Capcom does anything anymore with fucking yeah. Mega Man, but if they were doing something with Mega Man, it could be Capcom Crayola. Crayolas. That'd be awesome. And you have Top Man. There's like Air Man Blue. Hard Man Gray. <laughs> <laughs> now, now if Capcom came came out with that, it'd just be an empty box because they don't make shit. <laughs> yeah, come on. Where the fuck is Mega Man 11? Okay, so last yeah. thing I heard was Capcom apparently did a survey that they were gonna have Mega. Like they were asking fans, they're like, "Hey fans, would you like to have Mega Man 11?" And the entire internet was like, "Yes, we yeah. want that." And then it's like two years go by and. Fucking, and they're, no answer, they're just like, fuck yeah. They're like, you know what? You want it? Good. That's good That's that you nice. want it, but pff, you're not getting it. <laughs> We're going to make like 60 mobile games now that have nothing to do with Mega Man. How do you feel about that? <sighs> yeah. That's great. But we got Mighty Number no. 9. Great. I know that yeah. wasn't Capcom, but yeah. that's what we fucking got. How can Mighty Number no. 9 be as bad as it is? It's. T I played like, it. Like, like, okay, like, if you were in the same universe as the other Mega Man games. How would you ever end up with that? It's just, that game's a travesty. That's when you know you're in the final dungeon, when you see the you dreaded see battle, axes. battle axe. Yeah. I love how the enemies prior to this were like apples and now there's battle axes. Well, it's, it's getting happened? to the end of the game now. Yeah. It's the, it's the dude from James Bond that throws his hat. It's odd our, job. Uh, fuck yeah, odd job. Fucking there's enough flowers in this that you constantly get one-offs. Oh, it's the That's, flowers. Which is, which is good. I wasn't even thinking about that, but I guess flowers are coins, basically. Yep. Because everything has to be like Mario in my yeah. mind. If you want to get funding in 1989 or 90 or whatever, better be like Mario. Better be like Mario. You don't get shit. You, oh, fuck that guy, right? Fuck Wally yeah, Gator. He get Wally... Gangster Gator guy over here. Up to, and he jumped up. I did not expect him to jump up. I there. thought he was just gonna fall in this. I did too. Yeah. They don't do that in this. They're like, no, this is Capcom, not just the, like... the AI in this game is more sophisticated than the AI in freaking Battlefield that we've been playing lately. <laughs> The, the, I've been streaming that. The, yeah, the German soldiers just run in front of your fucking tank. It's like, don't you realize it's a damn tank? Right. Yeah. Like if this was the Wally Gator from Rescue Rangers. Yeah, Wa Wally Gator would have fucked us up. <laughs> in Battlefield. <laughs> the Germans would have won if they were led by Wally Gator. Okay. All right. Oh, there you go. There he is, the stand of the game. There he is. Oh, <laughs> he just... Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, here we go. All right. I just realized there's only one boss theme. Yeah. It's not the best. Is that all this guy does? Pretty much, but it's annoying enough. 
Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> it's just have a little patience is all this really is. Yeah. Get the hits when you can. Don't smoke. Oh, I forgot you can do that. Oh, you can catch actually. it. Actually, that makes it so much yeah, easier. Yeah, sponsored by the Truth Foundation. Uh, look, how easy was that? Yeah, compared to everything that came before it. Yeah. I guess that'll teach Fat Cat not to mess with the Rescue Rangers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Strike a pose, boyo. Oh. Golly, I don't know. Something Golly. tells me he'll be back. Golly gee. Monty. That's true, they call him Monty. Well, if he steps out of line, we'll be ready to put him right back in line. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Chip and Dale are like... Yeah, they're like <laughs> laying down the wall. Dude, why? it would have been awesome if we had her with her plunger bow. I know, bow. that's why I'm saying they really should have... Like, okay, yeah. you know like Toad in Super Mario yeah. 2? At least like the strong one? That yeah. would be Monty. Yeah. She would be... She would have a projectile long-range weapon. Yeah. And Zipper could be like... He, he could fly around mm -hmm. for a limited time or something. Yeah. This game is incredibly easy, except for- Up until that last up, part. The, the last stage is a little tricky with that one guy, but it's like, it wasn't, you know. And, and on multiplayer, the biggest enemy is yourself, the other yeah, player. It, it's a hard yeah. game to get through with two people. Yeah. Um, so that's tough, but um, it, it's a, I think it's a good game. I mean, it's got good music, good graphics. Um, what do you think? It has flaws, but it's definitely a game that's worth playing. It's definitely a game that's fun. You know, despite, like, animation, you know, different, not having settings, all of that. The game is fun throughout. It's colorful. All the characters are there. It's a good time. Uh, but, and the other thing I want to mention if, is if you like DuckTales, if you liked playing the Chippendale Rescue Rangers game, definitely check out all the Disney afternoon shows that came out in this era. Oh, absolutely. Because they're, they're probably some of the best like on air animation that exists. They, they were um, yeah. high budget cartoons of the time. There yeah. was there was like low budget cartoons, like I don't know, like Monster in My Pocket or stuff stuff right. like that, and like um, Inhumanoids. Right. I think was like a lower budget thing. But yeah, the Disney cartoons. It was yeah. Disney, so they had a big budget. So the cartoons were actually so, had a quality standard of quality to them. And, and, and the standard of quality extended to the games. These are obviously, they, they did. didn't have LJN do it. They yeah. had Capcom do it. Right. Disney really didn't mess around even back yeah. then. They were like, no, our games are gonna be good. And they were usually pretty yeah. good. I can't think of a Disney game. Um, even like, I, a lot of people complain about Mickey Mouse capades. Yeah, like having mini is annoying, but that's actually not, I don't think that's a really a bad game. It's got, the mini thing is annoying, but overall, like that game. It's like not an that early bad. NES. Look what it's yeah. going up against, right. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. I like that game actually. Yeah. Um, again, there's some parts in it that are no, that are a little annoying. It's cool. But you get to go to the Haunted Mansion. You get to do yeah. all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, it's it, cool. It's a, it's a really fun game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and in line with those Chippendales Rescue Rangers, it's a classic NES game. If you haven't played it, play it. And someday, uh, we'll have to do Rescue Rangers too. Absolutely.